Welcome to Astronomy State of the Art. This video will let you know how the course is going to work and what you can expect from the experience. The course is what's called a MOOC, a Massive Open Online Class. That means it's not administered by the University of Arizona. It's administered through Udemy, and there's no credit for this class, nor any reason to enroll with the university. The universe is big, and the world is small, so I'm glad that so many people from outside the United States are participating in this course. Udemy does not give me information on who's accessed the course materials or how much time you've spent with them, so there's no way for me to track that. However, we will try and give completion certificates at the end of the course. With no tests and no grades, it's a pure experience. You're doing it for the love of learning, and I'm doing it for the love of teaching and the pleasure of sharing knowledge about the universe. Most Udemy courses have no timeline. Students or learners can access the materials at any time they want and in any order they want. I'm following a slightly more traditional model, where we will address one major topic in astronomy each week for seven weeks. We're aiming to post the materials for the upcoming week, the weekend before that topic is covered. Part of the reason for this is we're covering a lot of material and it makes sense to stage the course so you have time to digest each topic before we move on to the next one. The other reason is that I plan to arrange interviews with leading researchers and have live Q&A sessions with them and with me each week and each major topic. However, you will have the flexibility with Udemy to look at any of the materials at any time. If you happen to be traveling or away for a week, you can always catch up and we'll leave the materials posted on the Udemy website for several weeks after the formal end of the course in mid-May. The core material is a set of video lectures, each about 10 minutes long, on all the cutting-edge topics of astronomy from comets to cosmology. For each week and each major topic, there will also be a short overview video. So the total amount of video you might watch in a week is about an hour. Each week we'll also post a PDF file that is the representation of a large PowerPoint lecture of maybe a hundred slides or more that gives you a broader context for the topics that you'll see in the video lectures and extra background on those topics. On the Udemy site, you can ask questions of me and the instructional team and I can post announcements to reach you. This course will also make heavy use of the Teach Astronomy website where I've assembled a large amount of astronomy material including an online textbook, nearly 10,000 images, over a thousand podcasts, and other materials that'll keep you current on astronomy, such as recent news stories. All of these can be searched either by keyword or using a neat visual tool called a Wikimap, which allows you to surf between related topics. Early on in the class, I'll ask you to register on the Teach Astronomy website, independent of the Udemy registration you've already done. The limited information you provide will be kept secure and not shared with anyone else. That will allow me to reach you directly and also share any instructional materials that are developed as the course ends and afterwards. We'll use Teach Astronomy for gathering social media comments on Facebook and Twitter and for hosting the podcast of interviews with leading researchers at Stewart Observatory. We'll also use Teach Astronomy to post news stories from the last few weeks or months on each topic of the course as it comes up. This may be the first time you've taken a MOOC or an online class. It's an experiment for me too, and I think I'll learn a lot. I always will welcome your feedback and suggestions on how to improve the course or your experience. I have a talented team helping me with this course, in particular Matthew Wenger and Carmen Austin, and also a set of undergraduates from the University of Arizona who will act as preceptors for the course. In a future offering of this course, I hope to have enough infrastructure built to be able to evaluate the learners and eventually offer full university credit for this kind of a class. That is one of the great new opportunities afforded by the new world of online learning. Meanwhile, the universe is waiting for us. Astronomy is the oldest science and also one of the dynamic right now with new discoveries across the board almost every day. I'm excited about this course and I hope you are too. Let's get started.